Uh, shalom, everybody. Welcome to Ancient Hebrew with Chris Adams. Uh, today's segment is going to be on the word Ebrit, which Ebrit is the Hebrew word for Hebrew. And we're going to study it in the picture language, and we're going to study it by the, the definitions of what each letter means. And we're going to find each word that is in the order of a bret, in the word bret, the word Hebrew. And we're also going to study and learn it from the concordance um, standards uh, of definitions. But I'm glad everybody's with me today to study and learn the Amet truth of Yahusha, uh, what this is, what this is about. Um, because we're going to learn to cross over the other side today. And we're going to learn to cross over the other side. And that's what the word of Brett means. It means to cross over the other side. Uh, so let's first let's study a little bit about what each letter is in the fish language. We have the Ain, the Bait, the Resh, Yud, and the Ta. Uh, the Ain is the I. It means to see. Did you see I put the I here? Uh, the bait is the in or temple, and it also re represents, it means flesh, Yahusha. And then we have the resh, which is the head or the chief of the head of man. Yahusha is the head of all man. And then we have the yud, and the yud is the hand. It's an extended hand and arm, and it means work or deed also. And then we have the ta, which is the cross, and it means the covenant sign or a mark. But here in the word of Brett, which is Ain Bait Rashia Ta. And by the picture language that we can see, Yahusha is the first in his hand on the Ta. So, in other words, the, uh, the word Et, which is the Aleph Ta. Um, and even in my study, in the Ain, it is the same. As when you add the tall to it, it the aim and the tall is the same as the aleph tall, which is et, and it means entity, self, um, it means nearness or among. When you, you add it, you add, add the, the aim to the tall, it means self, entity, nearness, among, or against. It means plow, and it means a cultivator. And it's the same thing as what the, the uh, Zane is. The Zane is a sword, it's a weapon, it's a plow. And for us to get into this study, the word of bread has many of these meanings in it. So let's start out first with the word Aber, which is out of bait, rich. Uh, or let's start out with the word Ab. And Ab is one of the first letters. Uh, also, it, Ab means father when you use the Aleph and the Bait. But when we use Ab um, in the same sense as we can see Ab, as in the seeing the father in the flesh, Yahusha, the head in his hand in the covenant. But First, Avery, it means, uh, many of you are going to really like this, especially the women that are watching. Uh, Avery means the Hebrew woman. And any time that you put a letter hey at the end of a word, it's the feminine word. And it doesn't matter if you're a male or female, but, but becoming the bride is for every um, everyone that's being called in. Uh, to be the bride of Yahusha. So, Avery means the Hebrew woman. Now, Abar, Ain, Beit, Resh, it means cross over. It also means to deliver, to escape. It is a sweet smelling. Uh, we are a peculiar people. We are, a, our, our prayers are her being a great, the a great. We, uh, we are his chosen uh, lost sheep. We are called and chosen uh, because we are a break. 
And so the sweet smelling fragrance of our prayers, um, it is the sap. It is in the word uh, <laughs> amber, uh, and amber is a sap, and it is a sweet smelling. Um, and it comes from the, the Hebrew um, uh, brit. And then we have the word uh, aber, which it also means to translate. And here I am giving the interpretation in a translation and transliteration with interpretation of everything. So when I studied and I learned this, that it means to translate, this is exactly what's happening right now today. And so Yahushua's showing and teaching me that, you know, I am going to be what he's called me to be. Um, and Abra means also a fairy man. Um, I mean, it, you know, he has favor uh, on his great Hebrew uh, children. Um, and especially when you're called into ministry, um, he calls us his friends. And if we use the word uh, Yashriel, Yash. Yad Shin means this is, uh, Ra means friend, which is the Resh and the A. And so here we have a fairy man, which is a friend, and the word friend is in the word a brick. So we can move these letters around, but, but in this study, I'm not trying to do that so much. I'm just going from Allah, uh, from A, Bait Resh, Yad Ta, Bait Resh, Yad Ta, Resh, Yad Ta, Yad Ta. And ain't talk. So let's get into a little bit more of this study. So if we take the, since we've studied the Aleph or, or the A to the tall, let's study from the bait to the tall. So Marat, it means any kind of grain. And it also means a field or a garden, um, which is which which is bara. Okay, or raw means field, uh, any type of grain um, or garden. But then if we take it all the way uh, over to the barat, um, let's use the word uh, rot, which is, it means a select to feed. It means select and uh, means to feed or to choose. And, and it also means fat. And, or it means to inhabit, because Yahusha uh, in the Rock HaKadosh, he wants to inhabit his people. Now, this is a very good study. This is this is pretty in depth, but um, I think I'll do pretty good about how I've really learned how to break things down uh, with the anointing of Yahusha leading and guiding um, and showing me some how to how, how he really has used the Hebrew picture language for us all. Because use of this picture language. This is what uh, takes off our burdens, and this takes all the things that, that we worry about and all the ministry and the things that we do, and we don't know what to do with it. We carry a large, heavy load, but we get inside this. When we get inside this picture language, trust me, take my experience. When we get in this, I don't have no troubles. This is taking me a little bit out of it. This right here, Brett, is delivering me out of the burdens that I give from Yahushua. So then if we take the, um, let's take the, the rut and um, uh, the yut, and, and it means to shower or watering. It means defend, and it also means rebuke, okay? So here are some words that I'm giving you because when we look back at Moshe, you know, uh, Moshe and Aaron, they, 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 they rebuked, they rebuked Pharaoh. They gave Pharaoh a rebuke. And the word of Brit means uh, they were taken and um, Bara also means beloved. So I don't want to leave that out because we are beloved people. But we are crossing over just like the Hebrews in the, in the Exodus did and they were crossing over and they were delivered which is the word Shua which means deliver. It also means escape. It also means to save. God brings his Shua with him. And now if we take the, the yacht, yet, which means sign of whom? Well, who is it the sign of? It is the sign of Yahusha. Yahuwah, bringing his shoe, his deliverance. 
his Savior, the Mashiach. But here we come now to a little bit more of the understanding because this starts out with the letter A, which means the I and the C. And so I've done a little bit of studying about the eye and about blindness and about seeing things. Um, <clears throat> so what we have here is a yard. And a yard means to be naked. And it means opening the eyes. It means to awaken. It also means chaff. You see when Boaz and um, Ruth and she was gleaning in the, in, in the corner of the field where the field, where the grain was, and she went to where Boaz was, where the grain was stored, and he was sleeping and staying there with the grain from the field because he was the head and first in his generation at the time. And so Ruth was, was sleeping up underneath, she would say his tower, but his, his robe or, or, or his clothing and at his feet. Um, the storyline goes that that they ended up marrying and believe me, there's, there's a lot of this 